Hi, I'm Jim. About two months ago, I posted a YouTube video showing this truck topper camper. Since then, I've gotten a lot of questions about the cabinetry in my camper build. Though I am fairly capable as a carpenter, I elected to order cabinetry from my company instead of building it all myself because I wanted a durable professional finish. For those of you thinking about creating a truck topper camper, I hope to point out some things in this video that you'll want to consider early in your planning and to answer some of your questions about the cabinetry. For starters, we need to look at the shape of the average truck bed and gain an understanding of how that shape can impact our build. To help with this, I've drawn a simple diagram of an end view of a typical truck bed. The first thing I want to point out is that when you're looking at your truck bed, there are really two different widths that you need to consider. The first width is the overall inside width of the bed, from sidewall to sidewall. On my diagram, that width is shown as dimension A. That is the greatest overall width available to you. The next width to consider is the width between the clips used to secure your truck topper. That width is dimension B on my diagram. At first glance, the difference between those widths may not seem to matter much, but as you begin planning your build, you'll begin to see why those two dimensions matter. The next thing you'll need to pay attention to is the size of radius, or curve, where the floor of the truck bed meets the sidewall. When trying to place objects with square corners in your truck, that radius is going to get in your way, so we'll need to discuss some strategies to work around it. We are now looking at the same diagram, but a platform and a mattress have been added to it. You'll see that I've set the mattress directly beside the clamps that hold the truck topper in place. If you're trying to maximize storage space under your bed, you'll want to set the height of your platform to fall just below those topper clamps, and you'll want your mattress beside the clamps. At first glance, this will look like you wasted some width in your design, but if you think about it logically, the bed would have to be really close to the floor in order for you to be able to sleep up under the clamps and the part of the truck bed that they attach to. This would, in effect, kill the storage space under your bed. One other benefit of placing your mattress beside those clamps is that it will create some arm space between the mattress and the sidewall of your truck topper. I've now added cabinetry to that same diagram. If you look to the left side of the diagram, you will see that the cabinetry has been pulled away from the left side wall of the truck to avoid the bottom corner of the cabinetry binding with the radius. This picture shows the end view of the bed in my camper. You can see a gap between the side wall to the left and the cabinetry. I made my bed platform 30 inches wide and used 24 inch deep cabinets underneath. I pulled the cabinets 5 inches away from the side wall both to avoid the radius corner and to sit directly under the mattress. My mattress is 25 inches wide, by the way. Returning to our diagram, the cabinet on the right side of the truck bed has been cut away at the lower right corner to avoid the radius while still allowing the cabinet and the storage space to go all the way to the interior sidewall. Here is a picture of the cabinet in my camper that holds the microwave. As you can see, it is not only notched at the lower corner, but the back of the cabinet has been removed to take advantage of as much storage space as possible. You may be wondering why I pulled the cabinets away from the wall on one side and then notched the cabinets to fit on the other side. On the bedside, I used 24-inch deep cabinets, which are common over refrigerators. Since my platform needed to be 30 inches to avoid the topper clamps and still leave enough space for the 25-inch mattress, 24-inch deep cabinets pulled away from the wall made the most sense. I used 12-inch deep cabinets on the opposite side. I would have loved to have pulled them away from the right side wall as well, but I wanted to fit a chair in the aisle way. That left me only about 13 inches of space for cabinetry on the right side. Here is a floor plan view looking down on my camper so that you can see how the cabinets were arranged on the floor. The bed on my truck is 6 foot 6 inches long. I based my cabinetry selections on having 21 inches of length at the front and rear of the truck bed with 36 inches of space taken by the wheel wells. The cabinets are 15 inches high, 
which is a size commonly used over both refrigerators and stoves. While the intent of this video is not to try to sell you anything, several folks have emailed me asking where they can get cabinets like these. My company has a dealer network that covers most states east of the Mississippi. If you want more information, just go to www.bishopcabinets.com to get started. If you prefer to find something on the shelf locally, 15-inch high wall cabinets are commonly sold at home centers. If you'd like to see more in-depth information about how I did this camper build and what it contains, please go look at my YouTube channel and find my original video. It's about 25 minutes long, so be prepared to sit a while. And as always, if you have any questions about anything you see, please feel free to email me. I'll try to respond to you as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.